So Thomas Thorpe is going to start us off. Thank you very much, Thomas. <coughs> Sunset. Glowing spirit lifting sky and tiny ribbons of orange against dove grey stalk the horizon. No evening drama of vivid palette and swirling clouds, just glowing colours. <coughs> the ribbons fade, eucalypt green shade to black silhouette sharpen. Distant a street light mimics a star. Now this is from the other side of the world. November evening in Nottingham Castle for Patricia whose hair was wet. Soft fell the rain and ran in rivulets between the cobblestones. Colourfully opaque the sky and exotic opal tringed by the half-reflected lights of the city. Before us, steep rising the sandstone, a massive dark hued face of weather patterned rock, a back cloth transcending time against which <coughs> silhouetted a cavalcade of knights, foresters, cavaliers, and portly laughing friars moved, swelled organ like, and faded out of focus. Soft fell the rain. A crystalline sparkle of raindrops on your hair brushed cold against my face and soft fell the rain. <coughs> Somewhat uneven after more than a thousand years of prosperity, decline, and restoration. Come, sit still and quiet here in this once so busy heart of a Templar preceptory. Here, long ago, hung warriors' massive slit eyed helms, coats of mail, pennanted lances. Great cruciform swords, terrible <coughs> two-handed axes, and white circuits and shields bearing the blood-red cross, sign of belief and valor. Do you not see those upright shadows on the walls? Do you not feel the brush of a heavy cloak? Do you not hear feet treading in step of a solemn prayer for brethren who fell when Acre fell? Or louder the prayer for brethren who shall leave on the next crusade. The uneven chanting of men chosen for strength, not for voice. And the dexterous days and winnies faint through the open door. Do you not catch exotic, elusive sunset to Utrama? Now can you sense, now do you feel, that we stand in a house of fierce, unquestioning men. Obedience sworn to fight to die for the love of a gentle God. May their spirits rest, for they kept their faith and their oath to the death. And this was um, Chatsworth. Locomotion. High summer, and the mouth is full of lakes of many lengths and widths and shapes, and in a range of colours too. Fortunately, the legs of males are in a small minority. It's strange how such a mechanism designed for human locomotion in silent, smooth, efficient motion can vary so in eye appeal, at least to one whose legs are hidden. Many have such graceful curves that eyes are drawn to follow while a very special few turn my head as well. 